Take it easy. A trouble-free subcutaneous injection? It's easy with pig. A subcutaneous injection is called this way because the needle penetrates through the adipose tissue between the skin and muscle. It is especially useful for insulin therapy because it allows for the constant absorption of the drug. So many people do insulin injections every day to manage their diabetes. Let's find out how to make things as easy as possible. So, to begin with, you need a disinfectant pad, an insulin pen, and a pen needle. Not just any needle, they usually come in three lengths. Eight millimeters, perfect for the fold injection technique. Six millimeters, for those who insert the needle slanted. And it's the easiest of them all, four millimeters. It doesn't hurt. All you need to do is insert it straight to immediately reach the adipose layer. Did you feel anything? Now cover it with the protective cap. Screw it off the pan and throw it away. No, 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 not there, but in the specific bin. Good, this way no one will get hurt. And don't forget, never use it for more than one injection. It is harmful because the needle is no longer sterile and because insulin crystals from inside the needle blocking the flow and making the therapy ineffective. And then it hurts, because it hurts. After the first injection, the needle tip loses its sharpness. That's why any other injections hurt. And then, if you don't change the needle in the area where you do the injection, there are risks of lipodystrophy. Lipodystrophy is a disorder that affects adipose tissue. In the long run, if the injection is not done correctly, the skin hardens, making it more difficult and painful for the drug to be absorbed. An insulin injection can be done in four different parts of the body, arms, abdomen, thighs, and buttocks. Make sure to always alternate these sites. This allows the various administration sites to rest a bit. Now that you know all about subcutaneous injections, Pick Solution is waiting for you at the Pick community with plenty of useful tips and discussions on how to manage your diabetes in full freedom. And don't forget that you can always ask your physician or pharmacist for help choosing the right therapy and pen needle for your needs. See you for the next solution and pick it easy with Pick Solution.